Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. Today I want to review the Jolly Logic Shoot Release. This little device is super useful. I used it on my Level 1 certification on my Hyperlock 300 that you can see in the back corner. I've used it on a number of different rockets. It's easy to use, easy to set up. I do have a few tips towards the end that will help you with a successful recovery, so make sure you stay until the end. Now, I don't do unboxing videos. Uh, I don't care for them, but this uh, is just really well packaged, and I just thought it was only fair to actually show what it looks like in the box. So let's take a look at it, and we'll describe all the features. Inside the box, we also have the device itself, and we have tethers and bands and pins that are necessary for the operation. They also give you a spare pin, which is really nice, and there are extra bands in the bottom underneath the tray, so make sure you check those out too. Let's take the device out and take a look at it. I have the chute release attached to a 45 inch parachute with the large band going around it. The tether is over here and you would attach that to a shock cord or to one of the shroud lines on the parachute to make sure it is retained. Now you can see that the device is armed and you can see some of the lights lit up right there. I have it set to 400 feet. I usually use it between 3 and 400 feet depending on the weight of the rocket and what you're comfortable with. So there is a function to test this device. What I'm going to do is push the little detent until it says open and then you can see it release the parachute. It's counting down. There. And that's how it works. After the chute release releases the parachute, it will unfold and then the recovery portion starts on your rocket. This video was not sponsored by Jolly Logic. I purchased the device myself. I liked it. I made a video about it and I shared it with you guys. If you want to purchase one of these, you can buy one through Amazon. Please use the link in the description. I do earn a small commission and it won't cost you any extra. Now, let's get on to those tips. I suggest that you attach a chute release to the parachute shroud line with a quick link like this. You can attach it to the shot cord or recovery cord. Just make sure you use a longer tether and also make sure that you do not overstress the small link that's on the top of it because that could break the unit. If you're not sure what to do, just attach it to the parachute shroud line and you'll be good to go. All right, now on to some more tips. Make sure you check the bands. Make sure that they're still pliable and stretchy and that they're not dried out or cracked or anything like that. And make sure that there are no nicks in the band itself. You could use a hair tie if uh, it will expand enough. I've used these uh, on my parachutes a number of times. This one's been on here for a couple of years and I'm still using it. So you want to make sure that you check these components so that they are up to shape and good to go. If your parachute is new or has never been used, the band can tend to kind of stick to it. So what I suggest you do is Put some talcum powder on there or some baby powder, just a light coating to make sure that the band releases from the parachute. It seems to be worse when it's hot out, but uh, just put a little powder on there and that should allow it to release quickly. Spare bands, tethers, or pins can be purchased uh, all together for only $13, which is really a great deal. So if you lose any of them or damage any of the components, you can replace them cheaply. Also, if the case is damaged, you may be able to get that repaired by sending it back to the company. I had a Kato and really scorched mine pretty bad. I sent it back in and was able to get it fixed. I really appreciated that. If you found this video helpful, please consider buying me a coffee, using that YouTube thanks button, or at least give me a thumbs up, a thanks, that would help. All right, until next time, blue skies, I'll see you soon.